At my workplace, the landscapers make tree volcanoes around some of our trees. I thought these were bad for the trees. If they are, why is this practice being used? And if it is bad, what can be done to fix the problem with minimal damage to the tree? And this is from our friend, Mr. Mike in Ringgold, Georgia. Isn't that pretty neat? That is nice. All right, Mr. Mike, we appreciate that. Here's my deal, though. It's a bad practice, mm -hmm. like we mentioned, okay? We live in a copycat society. So if you're doing this, then your neighbor next door probably figures, hey, this must be the right, right. thing to do. Right. right. More is not always better. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is a lot of moisture around your trees are trapped in that mulch, mm -hmm. okay? which means that your bark is going to decay and start to rot. So once that bark starts to decay and rot, guess what that leads to? Fungal diseases, mm -hmm. bacterial diseases, or how about pests, mm -hmm. borers? Right. That's a problem. And then two, I've seen little holes in that mulch. Guess what's in those little holes? Voles. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you give them a hiding place and a buffet. Mm -hmm. So they're hiding <laughs> in there and they're girdling that tree. And it's like, hey, this is pretty neat. Nobody can see us. We're mm -hmm. having a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a bad practice. And then again, also too much mulch allows those tree roots to actually grow in that mulch, mm -hmm. right? Because they're looking for air. I mean, you pretty much, you know, dumped all of that mulch on them and those tree roots are like, hey, I need some air, I need some mm -hmm. air. So they start growing up through the mulch. Mm -hmm. So this is how you can fix that problem. You can just spread the mulch out, right? Don't you think right. so? I mean, right. how would you go about doing that? Well, I would definitely dig it away from, from the trunk and just move it out. And if you needed, you know, just uh, make a little... Um, Brit or, or a moat almost mm -hmm. to get away from there and and you can have your mulch I know they want that to protect the from mowing and sure. hitting the Weed trunk eaters and things. but just right. get it away from the trunk okay yeah I, I would pull it back a couple of inches from the mm -hmm. trunk you know just you know spread it out mm -hmm. two or three inches is all you need right you know two or three inch layer you know donut shape you know pretty much around mm -hmm. you know that tree and it'd be fine mm -hmm. all right because again at the end of the day you know, mulch, you want to suppress weeds. You know, you want to, of course, you know, keep folks from ramming their lawnmowers right. or weed eaters, you know, to that uh, tree. And the trees love it because what you're trying to do is mimic Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you can just bring that out to the drip line, the trees will really love it. We hope you loved the video. We would love for you to ask more questions. Be sure to leave those questions in your comments.